Hey you guys, it's Nathan back with another video. There's a question uh, that was left in the comments of one of my videos asking about text and how to insert a paragraph of text into an image in Photoscape X. So we're going to do that today. I've selected an image here. We're just going to add a bunch of text and we're going to see how easy it is to add a lot of text in here. Uh, Photoscape X is not super great when you're adding a ton of text. Uh, usually you have to break up your different text uh, uh, inserts and things like that to have multiples just so you can adjust and move everything around. Um, so we're going to see what we can do here today. Um, I was going to give you guys an example of what this might look like. So to just get a little example here, if we go to say something like this project file that I have here, um, so it's me, you've got layer anything, but each of these text uh, uh, um, points of text here, they're all separate text objects. So I had to like hit duplicate and move it over and write the next part. Now, that's fine if it's just a few words, that's totally cool. But if it's a lot, then that's going to get pretty annoying pretty quickly. So uh, let's take a look at what we can do here to add some text. So we're going to go over here to the text effect, click into here, and we've got just our generic text. I'm going to take the outline, well, we'll leave the outline out, and we'll uh, change the color here just to white, just so it stands out real good for you guys. Okay. Um, then let's grab a bunch of text. So over here we've got uh, just a Bible verse in here. Uh, and we're going to hit paste. And it just runs out to the end of time. If I zoom out, we'd be able to see kind of what's happening here. Not what you'd want to see. So can you wrap text? And we're going to see what we can do here. Um... And the reason I show this in this way is so you guys can see the learning and the discovery process um, as we're looking at this stuff. Because let's say you go to, um, like, you say, okay, this is kind of the text size I want. So it, you really can only fit, like, the first three words here. What if I um, go and hit enter? It drops it down to the next line. goes to God was, next line. Uh, was made manifest, manifest, among us, among us. Okay, maybe we're going to have to increase, decrease the size of this text by a good amount. So you might have to decrease the text by a good amount. Um, then let's see. There is in more options here, you're able to adjust the line spacing. So you have letter spacing, but line spacing is what we're looking for here. We're going to have to go to negative. Um, and it all depends on the text and the size and everything. You go to negative. Oh, I went to negative 41 and that worked out all right. It looks like, is there a limit of how negative you can make it? Yeah, negative 50 is the lowest you can go. Um, so there are limitations there. See, but there's not like a real quick way to just, hey, I'm going to just adjust this super quickly. And make this happen so that is an unfortunate thing now at the same time Photoscape X is not made for this type of stuff it's uh, would be nice if they had this kind of support in here like they do have like centering all of this stuff or uh, making it all left or right justified um, you can put a background on it. There's different things you can do. There's a lot of stuff you can do here with text, but when you're putting on a ton of text, it does become a little cumbersome of how you want to make it work. Uh, so that's kind of the challenge there. So you definitely can, but it definitely will take a bit more time. So uh, there's other uh, softwares out there that would work a lot better for this. Of course, the first one I'm thinking of right off the bat is PowerPoint. Now that, of course, is using Microsoft. Um, and you'd be able to drop all this stuff in super quickly um, and adjust it because um, they could align that stuff up a lot better. This is another example of where 
another software like Affinity or softwares like Photoshop would do a much better job of doing this. But a lot of this would be a lot more manual in adjusting. So that's kind of my thoughts on this. There's not really any other tricks that I personally know of. If anyone else does, that would be great. But as of now, that is what Photoscape X allows for as far as uh, moving a bunch of text. I suppose I should note in here that you are able to adjust or kind of transform text in here. There's a transform slider down here and you can adjust kind of how it is going to look and function. Uh, but that's not the same as wrapping text and things where it ends up being a lot uh, simpler. Um, yeah, because there's different design styles and things like that. And I've made a video in the past about that. But yeah, unfortunately, there's no easy way to wrap text. You'd have to do it a lot more manually. But if you're wanting to do something where everything looks real stylized or really neat and professional, then yes, you could definitely do it. And I use it for text a ton on this YouTube channel. But you just have to remember, you know, like here's an example of a video that just went up where I have investing for complete beginners. Each line of this is completely separate, completely different, um, able to be moved around all independently. But that's because I'm doing this. It ends up being four words. It ends up being seven different graphics on this page. Um, and it's something where that just works for me. But if you're adding a ton of text, it either is going to take more time or it's going to be something where you just outsource it to something else. Save your image out the way you like it, then add it into a text editor that would, um, or some kind of graphics editor that would work better for this project. But you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.